What is happening guys and today I have some exclusive footage of Rugby Challenge 4. I haven't actually got the game yet. I've gone off some footage that I've managed to find on YouTube. Um, and yeah, today we're just basically going to talk about it. So let's get into the video. Welcome back to another rugby video. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button to show your support for the channel. And if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed. So please click the notification button so you don't miss out. Okay, so when you first start up the game, this is the menu system. Very similar animations to Rugby Challenge 3. Uh, as you can see then, we've got single match training and so on. Uh, then if you go into Rugby 15s here is the teams. So as you can see, we have the All Blacks, Portugal aren't licensed, Romania unlicensed, Russia, Samoa, Scotland, Springboks are licensed, Spain, Tonga, Uruguay, America, Wales, Zimbabwe, Argentina, and then back to Australia, and then we've got Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Chile, England are licensed, Fiji are licensed, France isn't, Georgia isn't, Ireland isn't, uh, Italy, Japan aren't either, Kenya, Namibia, and then back to the All Black. So as you can see, we already knew what licensed teams were in it. As for Super Rugby, then we've got Blues, as you can see here, uh, and then we've got the Brumbies, uh, the Sharks are licensed, the Chiefs are, Crusaders are, Stormers, Lions, uh, the Highlanders are, Hurricanes, uh, well, I think this is the Sunwolves, they are not licensed unfortunately. Um, next up then, the Panthers, which would have been the Jaguars, aren't licensed. Um, and then I've missed out a few there, I'm not too sure what that one is supposed to be. Uh, and then we've got the Bulls, the Blues, and then so on. So as you can see then, we've got three unlicensed teams on Super Rugby. Uh, and then as of the European League, basically only the England clubs are licensed. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. Uh, one thing I am slightly disappointed with is the logos are almost exactly the same as Rocket Challenge 3. The unofficial logos, as you can see. Uh, so I am pretty disappointed with that. I was expecting something to look a little bit better. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, we haven't really seen too much yet, so there's still quite a few to talk about in this. Just going for the teams, as you can see, Auckland, Bay of Plenty, there, Canterbury... Um, I don't think I don't know if these are licensed guys because I don't know what the logos look like But to me they look all the same. So I'm guessing they're not uh, Which is quite disappointing again. It's all kind of like the same sort of style logos um, Yeah, I, I don't think they are licensed uh, Then I've got all the English teams as you can see here. They're all officially in the game Harlequins uh, Gloucester and so on basically uh, which is quite cool because we had them in Rugby 20 as well and we, now we've also got it in Rugby Challenge 4. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. In terms of stadiums, I'm not going to go showing that because I've looked at a few clips of the stadiums. Uh, it's pretty disappointing. We've got like 34 stadiums and a lot of them are unlicensed. Um, as you can see here then, we've got the French League isn't licensed. The two divisions aren't. Uh, and they all have the same logos, which is pretty disappointing. But I don't know whether you can create logos or not on this game yet, so don't get your hopes. Uh, like, don't be too disappointed then, because uh, we don't know the full feature of this game yet. Um, but in terms of logos, it's 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 not that great in terms of logos. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, the amount of teams we already kind of knew what teams were going to be there anyway. Uh, we've got the Curry Cup teams as well, which is something cool. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of teams missing and the logos are all very samey samey, uh, which is disappointing. Uh, but in terms of gameplay, we're going to have a look at that now. So as you can see here, we've got the same sort of load up setting where you just play as the three players running around the pitch. Uh, the pitch looks a little bit different as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a bit more scenic, I suppose. Uh, we've also got that loading icon there saying 69%, 67% and so on, um, which is interesting. I do apologize for the quality of this video guys as well, like I said, I haven't got the game yet. I am trying to get the game, uh, but it's not out yet in the UK. I did try and do this thing where I made a New Zealand account, but it's all gone. It's basically all gone wrong, so uh, yeah, you'll just have to wait, I'm afraid. Sorry guys. Uh, but next up then, we're going into the game now, so we've got a white screen. The graphics are different, which is cool. It says England versus Australia, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of the same sort of loadout which we saw when they walked out in the trailer. Uh, as you can see, they walk onto the pitch, and then let's have a look if there's anything. Oh, this is different. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, England versus Australia. As you can see, it shows the uh, the players, and they talk about it. That is quite a cool uh, cool effect. There it looks very realistic, showing the actual play uh, the face scans and so on. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. 
Uh, I think you go through this yourself when it comes to the lineup, but I, I, I don't know. I haven't got any sound effects or anything with it. Literally, I'm going by what you guys can see, so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, that's about it with the loadout. And then it gets into the game. We've got the same sort of animation that you saw in Rugby Challenge 3. Um, and then that's the pause menu. So that's all I've got to show you guys as of today. Uh, I am really sorry the quality is poor. And I am also really sorry I haven't got the game yet to be showing you a professional video. But I will try my best to get that out as soon as, as soon as I can. Whether it will be after midnight or not tonight, I doubt it. Because I've got to download the game and stuff as well. And then I've got work the following day. Uh, so it would probably be around tomorrow evening time if you are to see any videos from me um but yeah i hope you did enjoy please make sure you go and smash the like button to show your support i'm trying to do as many updates as i possibly can uh just going by what i can see and what you guys can see as well let me know in the comment section as well what you thought of these clips that you've seen uh and please go ahead and subscribe as well i will be doing loads of videos on rugby challenge 4 all professional where you'll get to see my face in the corner of the screen uh, and then we'll narrow it down do reviews play games on it basically what i did with rugby 20 i think i made nearly 100 videos of rugby 20 so yeah if you're a rugby challenge 4 fan or just a rugby video game fan please go ahead and subscribe and uh yeah thank you so much for watching i have been andrew i will see you in another video peace out guys